In this video, we're going to talk about spine creation. That is, we're going to create a spine curve that controls the orientation of loft and swept surfaces. Now, the spine feature command is located under wireframe in the section bar. If you don't see it there, in the action bar, select the downward arrow and a pop-up menu will appear. Go ahead and select spine. Notice right away we get a spine curve definition dialog box. Now the first thing we're going to actually do is we're going to start at the start point and highlight this box here, the start point. Next we're going to pick a point that we're going to start from. Now here we're going to define the start point of the spine. Now 3D Experience automatically creates a start point if you do not already define one. But for this instance we're going to go ahead and select this point here and then next we're going to select the sketch plane. And notice in our sketch plane box we have the sketch 1. This defines the planar sections and planes that the spine is created normal to. Now next I'm going to go ahead and select the rest of these planes that are created. And now if I go ahead and I select OK, notice we don't see it, but if we go over to the specification tree, notice we have a spine. Now we can't see it because it is colored in white, so we have to go to our properties by right clicking on spine. And within our graphic tab, we're going to go to lines and curves. Notice that it is white. We're going to select black, apply, OK. Now you can see that we have this spine and it kind of curls in an odd way. Now we can go back and fix that. I'm going to go ahead and double click with the left mouse button on spine. And right away I get to edit the spine curve definition dialog. Now if we go ahead and take a look at computed start point. This box was not checked. Now this computes the start point. So let's go ahead and put a check in that by clicking in it. And notice right away that our spine has been smoothed out. And it now properly follows the planes that we selected. If I go up into our section plane, notice that we have the replace, remove, add, and reverse direction buttons now available. The replace button replaces the section or guide curve with a new section or guide curve. The remove, of course, removes the section or guide curve from the spine. Add adds a section or guide to the spine definition. And of course, we have reverse direction, which reverses the starting direction of the spine. Once you're happy with what you have, you can go back and select OK again. And now you can see how your spine has been created. And that is spine creation.